proceed? Sir, uh, obviously what has happened in the first test match, this is a historic occasion. Uh, how do you look at this test match, India and West Indies playing the 100 test match? Great history between these two, uh, two teams. How much that will be a factor in motivating your team? Well, fantastic history. In uh, you know, over 100 years, uh, we have partnered uh, to develop the game and, and expose the game in different environments. Um, and the first test is gone. We're looking forward to the second test. Uh, not only in India, all over the world, West Indies is a very popular team and lots of people know. They have been very disappointed what has happened over the last one month, World Cup qualification and this test match against India. How, how difficult it has been, you know, to you know, handle this team because a lot of fans across the world are expecting a lot from West Indies given their history and legacy and everything. Well, West Indies brand is, is still a popular brand. Uh, you know, the, the world uh, enjoys when we play at our best. Uh, and, and yes, we have had some disappointments in the recent weeks and, and, and months. Uh, but it, it's an opportunity for us to be better. Um, review uh, what has gone before and then just look ahead. Coach, what would you tell your boys, obviously, after the, the bashing move, let's say, in three days' time? Means what, you, what do you tell your boys as a coach? Means how to recruit? Means obviously, it's a tough challenge, obviously, to be playing against a team like India. So how, how can the boys regroup and give it their best shot? Uh, belief, belief in yourselves as individuals and, and as a team um, is, is, is massive. Uh, having a clear plan and sticking with it, um, that's, that's really going to be really important. Uh, and, and, and staying in the moment. I mean, uh, as the game unfolds, it, we're going to be asked different questions. Uh, how we respond to the different situations is important. But at, at each stage, if we have clarity um, around, about how we want to go about things, and then we back that uh, completely, uh, while being smart, um, there's no reason why we can't um, give a good account of ourselves. Were well, you a bit disappointed with the wicket at Dominica? Obviously, it was tailor made for India. I mean, slow, low, I mean, the spinners had all, all, all to say. Is, but, I mean, a touch disappointed with the way the wicket played in Dominica. And what do you expect out of the wicket here at the Port to Kings Park? Well, I think based on how it started, um, you know, I, I don't think either team actually knew what would have, uh, how it would have played. Obviously, as the game progressed, uh, it, it unfolded. Uh, and became uh, a spinning track, which, as you would imagine, India would be a lot more comfortable with. Um, uh, you know, so, but we, 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 have, we have been that, and we are, we are, we're going to assess this one that we're playing on, uh, and then come up with the plans um, for the second test. Coach, uh, a word on the threat from the legendary duo of Ashwin and Jadeja, they are on the verge of becoming the highest uh, wicket taker for India as a pair. Surpassing Anil Kumla and uh, How do you look at this modern iconic player? Uh, how challenging it is for a team like West Indies to face these two world class uh, spinners? Well, when you look at it, obviously they have achieved a lot in the game, uh, in all the formats. Uh, and it's going to be very important for us uh, to, to play what we, what we actually see. Uh, we don't, we're not going out there to play, to play names. Um, milestones is important for everyone. We have players in our team as well who have an opportunity to also create milestones for themselves. Uh, so it's really about what happens in the moment and making sure that we are, we are confident and we have self-belief in how we want to go about things. Coach, if you stay in the moment, but um, reflecting on your first game, what would you have done uh, or what have you done your team that could help you get a better result in this game? Uh, I think obviously, you know, just making sure that uh, there were different stages where we did things well. From a batting standpoint, obviously we had that good opening partnership that took, a, took care of the first hour. And then there was a, a partnership of about 40 odd um, in the middle, um, you know, where, where we actually you know, played quite well, defended well, and capitalized on loose deliveries. Uh, that's the mentality we have to have as a batting unit. Um, summing up the conditions, working out uh, where the scoring options are going to be, um, and, and, and being confident enough to keep out good deliveries. Captain mentioned that he wanted a pacey wicket here. Uh, you check the same <laughs> Well, when you, when you look at the, the combination of both teams, you know, some, a reference was made to the number of wickets uh, that's been taken between uh, the spin pair in India. When you look at our bowling attack in terms of our fast bowling, uh, the majority of wickets uh, have been taken by our quicks. So from, from that standpoint, uh, we have a lot of experience in that, in that department. Um, so, you know, we will assess the conditions and then uh, we will then make a decision. Um, you, going forward. You expect Sinclair to make an impact? Sinclair. I'm sorry. I'm, uh, Sinclair, you expect him to make an impact? Sinclair, Sinclair, who's going to add it to this point? Well, that is down to the combination on the day and for the match. Uh, so once we know what the, what the conditions look like, we will make a determination on what final level is going to be. Everyone fully fit? Um, 
at the moment, um, you know, obviously Rakim continues to, to um, recover uh, from uh, the chest congestion that he had. Um, so we just continue to monitor him and see how he progresses. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Thanks.